So this place is a place whereby the rebels attacked so much it became a field of the, the war for a long time. Most of the people ran away from this place. Many of the parents were killed and the children remained orphans. My husband died in 2008. Leave me children's five. Most of the children cannot even afford even the 5,000 things which is worth to two dollars and even the school uniform they could not afford so they decided to stay at home uh, some of them even do without eating some days the other former schools where the children could go it is this side four or five miles and this side is six to seven miles and i asked the community now what can we do and the community then said that let us start a school and we started the school with the 83 children. The reason why I decided to become a volunteer in this school, uh, we wanted to see that uh, this village of ours also has some educated people. So in order for them also to become teachers like us. After seeing that uh, they are behind with the studies, that's why I, I came here to help them also such that they will also help our brothers and the children in the future. We have very many challenges here in this school. The first challenge we have, we don't have water. We don't even have even a, even a bus call for going for a distance of about uh, four um, miles to the bar hall. We carry jerkins with the head bringing up to here. It's a big struggle. And even children go home when they are very tired. We don't have structures for people. See, like how we began from here, we were just sitting under shades, under those trees, that's where we began from. If we have permanent buildings, it can allow these children to be in their classes. Even if it's raining, children can study. By one, in classes, building with bricks, put windows. And even we face a challenge of a kitchen, mostly when it, when it rains, we first stop cooking. Again, maybe if possible to connect the electricity from the other center hub to here, or maybe some strong solars. We have blackboards, but they're not enough. For permanent toilets, you know, school needs toilets. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to I want to thank you for watching this video and now I am asking if you would like to help us or partner with us in any way. It can be anything as small as one dollar to buy a brick or fifty dollars to buy a desk. It would really contribute to the futures of these kids and we want them to have the best futures that they can so that they can be the doctors, nurses, and teachers that they dream of being. I want to become a doctor, a teacher. I want to be a secretary. I want to be a teacher. I become a lawyer. I want to become a nurse.